This is Logitech's latest iPad keyboard case with a trackpad built into it. If you're trying to pair the Slim Folio Pro, which is the regular keyboard case without a trackpad, then click here to watch that tutorial, or alternatively I've put the link in the description below if you're watching this on mobile and you didn't see the pop-up. The Logitech Folio Touch keyboard case does not have its own rechargeable battery. It draws power directly from your iPad whenever it's in use, which means you don't need to worry about charging your case in addition to charging your iPad. It also doesn't connect with Bluetooth, but rather it uses these special pins on the case to connect directly with your iPad. This means there's basically zero setup involved to get the keyboard working and you don't have to fiddle around with Bluetooth. Take the case out of the box and lay it down flat. Then slot your iPad into the long edge. Make sure you're putting it in in the right way round by looking at the camera and the camera cutout on the back of the case to get everything all lined up nicely. Squeeze the rubber edges over the iPad, flexing them if you need to, to stretch around the edges. The back of the case folds up like this so that you can prop the iPad up while you're typing. There's a magnetic latch for closing the case which also has a built-in sleeve for your Apple Pencil. If you have an Apple Pencil, we recommend storing it in this pocket when you're on the go rather than just leaving it magnetically attached to your iPad. The Apple Pencil is quite expensive so it's a good idea to keep it as secure as possible in this little sleeve when you're on the move. When you first place the iPad in the case, you'll get a pop-up to install the Smart Connector accessory. Now this is what allows the case to communicate with your iPad, so tap install and just wait until the process is complete. When this is done, you'll also need to download the Logitech Control app on this screen. It'll automatically open when the Smart Connector has finished installing. Click Get and you'll need to approve the app download by double pressing your iPad's power button. Open the Logitech Control app once it's installed and if there's an update, tap to download the update. Now this might take around 5-10 to 10 minutes to install and it's really important that you don't use the keyboard while it's installing. So just leave it running and wait until the process is complete. If your iPad screen darkens during the process, just tap it to keep it awake. Now that all the updates have finished, we can start using the keyboard. There's a row of shortcut keys up at the top here. This one takes you to the home screen. These two adjust the brightness of your iPad screen. And these ones adjust the brightness of the keyboard's backlight if you're typing at night. Finally, the last set of buttons here control media playback and volume. And you can press the last one at any time to lock your screen. There's also a built-in trackpad which supports lots of gestures like scrolling, zooming and switching apps. Using two fingers on the trackpad you can swipe between home screen pages like this or scroll around documents and web pages. Using three fingers you can switch between apps like this and you can right click by pressing down with two fingers to open something in a new tab in Safari for example. There are multiple ways to use the case, either like this in typing mode, like this for watching things or for drawing things if you've got an Apple Pencil and finally like this which is called read mode. Don't worry about accidentally typing by the way, the keyboard will only work when it's upright in the typing mode.